What's up? As requested, I'm going to review another video by Brian Johnson. This one's called My Number One Food for Anti-Aging. Before we start the video, let's look at the thumbnail. He looks pretty alright in the thumbnail, and that's because it's obviously photoshopped. The thing is that you can't photoshop a video. <laughs> now let's go to the video. This is how he looks like. I'm seriously worried about him. He actually looks like a corpse at this point. There's also no contrast added to this video. They do this on purpose so that he doesn't look as bad. Let's add some contrast to it now. It looks um, even worse. That's because it really brings out the dark eye circles. There's also um, this um, light color under his eyes by the cheekbones. I don't know if that's makeup. I don't know what's going on with him. Does he actually look that bad? It's all red here. You gotta agree that his skin looks incredibly bad. He actually looks like he's about to expire. Anyway, let's just watch the video. You're right. I've been doing a lot of crazy things over the past three years. See if I can slow down my speed of aging and reverse it. The question I get most... We for sure now know that you can't. You look way, and I mean way worse than you used to. Frequently is give me the one thing I can do in my life because you're busy, you have stuff going on, and you don't have the team to do all this complexity. So I'm going to tell you, it may surprise you. What's also interesting about his so-called team is that um, they don't seem to notice how bad he looks. Or is it because they get paid and they simply keep silent, seeing as uh, otherwise they won't get paid anymore. It could be that. It could also be that they are incredibly ignorant, seeing as these people get educated in places where they are taught all of the wrong stuff. Most of what they learn is wrong when it comes to human health, which is why it could be that they genuinely believe that what they are doing is right for him. They sort of ignore the way he looks like. There could be a lot of thoughts going through their heads. It could be a sort of denial. It's better than resveratrol, NR, cold plunges, saunas, and... Some kind of drugs. I've already gone over them in the other videos that I made about him. Uh, cold plunges are obviously incredibly bad. Made videos about it. It's already been debunked. Uh, saunas also, just another stress. Cold plunges are stressful for your body because it's so extremely below your body temperature and saunas are extremely above your body temperature. Stress always ages you. All stress is incredibly unhealthy. Podcast. And your favorite podcast, it's that good. It's extra virgin olive oil. All right, it's unnatural extracted oil from toxic bitter fruits. Olives are bitter because they are insanely toxic. They have to go through a very long process to remove most of the toxins so that you can actually eat them. <laughs> and then you actually drink this oil which is extracted from these toxic fruits. Amazing. Very clever. <laughs> is the team behind it? <laughs> but not just any of a particular... Also, the way you can easily know when something is toxic in general, and especially this toxic olive oil, is that you cannot consume a lot of it. You can't drink the whole bottle of olive oil, whereas uh, when it comes to actually what we drink in nature, such as blood, we can drink a whole bottle and we will feel amazing, and it will actually rejuvenate you, whereas this is only going to destroy you. Particular type, and I'm going to explain to you how you can identify the right olive oil so that you can achieve the health benefits uh, the evidence shows is possible. I consume Evo with every meal every day because when you eat, it causes damage in your body. I didn't know this. I recently learned it myself. And so Evo is protective against- I think that I know what he means. The more calories you eat, the sooner you will die. That doesn't necessarily mean that it does damage, arguably. But the thing is that the kind of food he eats, which is basically vegan, is definitely going to do damage to your body, obviously. And you can measure this. There's actually biochemical responses of your body to these kind of plants, for example. The plants are toxic, and that's why they will most definitely damage your body, needless to say. That damage. These studies show improvements. 
Improvements, the FX of high, polyphenol, extra virgin, olive oil. I've talked about polyphenols a lot in my videos. You really got to understand what polyphenols even are. It's essentially just toxins on blood pressure and arterial stiffness in healthy Australian adults. Should I go over the study? I could look it up. The thing is that uh, if any food in any way changes your blood pressure, whether it increases it or decreases it, what you got to understand is that your body regulates your blood pressure. For example, if your arteries are somewhat clogged, then your blood pressure will increase. And that's because your body does that. It's not something from the outside. The problem is not something that comes from the outside, some kind of food you eat or anything like that. It's literally your body doing it. And that's because it's trying to unblock your arteries. That's why people who are um, possibly about to get a heart attack will have higher blood pressure. It's your body already showing you that you have clogged arteries. There could, of course, be more reasons for higher blood pressure. That's just one of them. I'm giving you an example. My point is that it's only your body that does that. So when you try to miss with your body, it can only end bad. When you take drugs for lowering your blood pressure, then you're actually hindering your own body's healing process. And uh, if extra virgin olive oil in some way changes your blood pressure, then it's not a good thing, seeing as your body has the kind of blood pressure that your body wants. Which is why there's no real point for me to go over that, seeing as a lot of food can influence your blood pressure, but it can never be in any way actually beneficial for your health. Arterial stiffness... Um, I could look it up because of that. All right, I found the study. Blah, blah, blah. Polyphenols, blood pressure. That's all right. I already explained that. Okay. I'm not gonna read it in uh, detail. <laughs> it didn't actually have any influence on the arterial stiffness. All right. <laughs> and uh, as far as um, potentially widely accessible dietary intervention to prevent cardiovascular disease, there's no actual proof for that. It's just something that they assume could help. This study is useless. In weight management, blood pressure, blood sugar. Consumption uh, proves body composition. Um, again, uh, it really doesn't matter because... Um, if they mean that your weight changes, your weight changes because of so incredibly many reasons. If you, instead of eating some kind of fat, start eating olive oil, which is malnutrition essentially, then you could lose weight, for example. And that's because we are made out of saturated animal fat for the most part. That's what our cells are made out of. And if you consume mostly monounsaturated plant oils, then we cannot take up these calories we cannot actually store it in our bodies, which is why we would lose weight. It's just a simple example of why these kind of studies mean nothing. Again, blood pressure in women, um, excess body fat. This is nothing, it just proves nothing at all. Sugar levels, cholesterol, heart health. If it was on cardiovascular risk factors, a systematic review, and he said um, cholesterol, He's implying, from what I understand, that if you lower your cholesterol, for example, that you will have a less of a risk for cardiovascular disease. But that's not true, seeing as cholesterol... Well, it, it's not as if cholesterol has nothing to do with it. Cholesterol actually prevents cardiovascular disease, as proven in many of my videos, which I already made almost 10 years ago. You should just check them out. It's very easy to understand the actual science behind it, not some uh, stupid epidemiology which is trying to correlate cholesterol with cardiovascular disease. It's all been debunked by a lot of people. Brain health and mood. Brain health? Um, I doubt it. Uh, wait, what? Function of mild cognitive. Okay, I could look this one up also. I found this study also. I read the abstract. I wouldn't know where to find the whole study. The most important part is that extra virgin olive oil significantly improved clinical dementia rating, CDR. 
Of course, we don't know what they mean by this, only they know, but we can assume that they saw some kind of improvement, even though for us uh, it's useless to read about it. And behavioral scores, he've also reduced blood-brain barrier, permeability, and enhanced uh, functional connectivity. While refined, olive oil consumption did not alter the BBB permeability or brain connectivity. It uh, improved the CDR scores, still, even the refined olive oil, and increased functional brain activation to memory task. What were these people eating? Uh, why would uh, some kind of fruit oil help them? Were they that starved? Why would refined olive oil actually help them. Can we take the study seriously? Really, I mean it, because uh, they would have to be eating uh, bread with marmalade for them to seek some kind of improvement from toxic fruit oil. Do you understand what I mean? Because it would mean that they are not consuming any type of fat whatsoever, not even any plant oils, for them to see some kind of improvement from plant oils. Realistically, there should be no improvement. <laughs> Imagine if they ate brain or any type of animal fat, fish oil even, which I'm not even uh, promoting, any kind of actual whole fish of course would be better, fish eggs. If they were that starved that olive oil actually helped them, even refined olive oil, then uh, they would have seen an insane improvement from actual animal fat, which their brain is actually made out of. Do you understand what I mean? It's just really strange. I really wonder what was going on with these uh, so-called patients. The scientific evidence is compelling. Extra virgin olive oil is in an elite category. No, extra virgin olive oil, any kind of olive oil or plant oil is slave food. I'll take you on a quick detour. Chocolate is a well-known thing that's good for you, but that might lead you- no. How is it well known to be good for you? Most people understand that chocolate is incredibly unhealthy. Chocolate has a, a lot of toxins. One of them is called caffeine. I'm sure that you know it. You probably need a lot of caffeine. <laughs> That's why you probably have dark eye circles if you consume it. I think that he consumes a little bit of dark chocolate or something from what I remember. And uh, chocolate nowadays also has a lot of toxic heavy metals. Maybe he gets the best kind of chocolate on earth, but you still have the naturally occurring toxins. And that's because chocolate is made out of seeds. All seeds are super unhealthy. You to eat a Snickers bar, which is not a good thing. If you follow all five layers, it's dark chocolate, undotched, tested for heavy metals. Okay, that's very good that it's tested for heavy metals. 99% of the chocolate you will buy will be full of these toxic heavy metals. And a high polyphenol count. Once you meet those criteria, yes, then chocolate is very good for you. But if not, don't eat the Snickers bar. The same is true with extra virgin olive oil. You need polyphenols and oleic acid and a whole bunch of other criteria. And so we had this problem where we knew how strong the evidence was for the health benefits of extra virgin olive oil but we couldn't rely upon the quality and the guarantees of others. Your olive oil may not be what it claims to be. Sometimes we're finding oil that is adulterated with oil other than olive oil. We were kind of chasing it. Like, where's your certificate of analysis? What are the levels? When is the harvest? So we decided to fix the problem ourselves and we started a supply chain acquiring this extra virgin olive oil from both hemispheres to always have a fresh harvest. And just like with chocolate, we do the same criteria for the extra virgin olive oil. So in the notes below, I'm going to post the criteria that you want to look for when buying your extra virgin olive oil. That matches what the scientific evidence shows is uh, used for the studies. And so you can buy it from me or find another supplier. I'm good either way, do your thing. I love the extra virgin olive oil. It's so different than what I grew up with. Like I had it a few times as a kid. It was just kind of bland in taste. This is rich and peppery, almost to the point where you cough if you take it straight. And so I've, I feel like I'm becoming- Yes, you take this little sip because of how toxic it is. Your body couldn't handle it. That's also why you need to cough. It's your body's natural defense mechanism when you consume something that you're not supposed to consume. In like an olive oil uh, sommelier, is a sommelier? <laughs> like I, I can now try to tease out these different flavors and regions and harvest. So it's been a fun game, but yes, it adds a spice and fun to all my food. We've priced this Evo. I think it is the best priced Evo for the quality on market. Let me know your thoughts, but like it legit, uh, we have basically like almost no profit on this thing. So I'm really trying to make this thing accessible. Uh, excitingly, we have- He's always been a businessman. Come on, I don't buy it. Have a full blueprint products that come- Literally, I don't buy it. I wouldn't buy it. I mean, out in just a month. So we're trying to compete for the 
dollar for dollar, calorie for calorie, the most nutritious food product in history. We want to be all of the food that he consumes doesn't have over 15 micronutrients because as I said, he basically eats a vegan diet. How can you create one of the most nutritious foods on earth if it doesn't have over 15 micronutrients? And I'm sure that it won't. <laughs> this guy, man. Uh, oh my God. Oh my God. That level. And it has more evidence behind it than I think anything in the entire market. We're excited for you to try it. Tell us what you think. We really took the same approach that if you ask the body what it needs to be its best self, we've tried to deliver that in a form that is a form. You've already said in the past that you don't listen to your body whatsoever. You completely ignore your senses. Um, and again, that competes for the best nutrition of your life. If anything, I want to be a positive voice in your ear. So don't buy anything from me. How can you say that when you look like a zombie? And I don't say that to offend him. That's literally how he looks like to me. <laughs> I just want to be a positive influence. And whether that's, should I stay up and binge watch my show or go to bed? Should I have this donut or skip it? Should I have this extra version of olive oil or not? I hope I'm there as your friend, encouraging you to be your best self. I don't want anything I do in the world uh, commercially to compromise our relationship. because it really is about this process and I hope we can build on that stable foundation. My biggest problem with this guy, besides him being quite arrogant, is that he's so incredibly ignorant about food and nutrition. He's a millionaire. He could get any kind of food that he wants on earth. Everybody, except for um, in the last one or two decades, understood that animal organs are the most nutritious and healthiest foods on earth. Everybody in nature knows this. Babies get liver as their first food, and that's because it's so high in vitamin A. It's incredibly important for your development. Everybody always knew this. This guy could easily... He has a lot of money. You don't even need that much. You only need one or two million to eat like a king. He could get the best seafood on earth. He could get actual organs, bone marrow from wild caught fish from deep in the ocean. He could get blood, the best organs, all of them. Stuff that's not even accessible to people nowadays from wild animals. The healthiest you can get, absolutely unmedicated. They consume natural food, yet somehow he got this team who, as I said, are most likely ignorant. They may mean well, but they just don't know what the hell they are actually doing. And he just blindly believes them because as he has said himself, as I said before also, he doesn't listen to his own body whatsoever. He ignores his senses and only listens or reads the data that's the so-called truth to him and of course uh, this data is nonsense as we could see before but that's what he bases his life on no not only bases but he actually risks his life by just reading papers by reading the opinions of other people it's just texts written by other human beings they could be completely wrong Instead of doing what humans naturally do, which is only listen to your own senses, exactly know what is good for you, which is the only way to be healthy, he only listens to the opinions of other human beings. That can only go wrong. That will always go wrong, no matter what we are talking about. Everything will always go wrong in your life if you listen to other human beings who tell you how you're supposed to live. Whereas if you completely only listen to your own senses and you do exactly what you want to do, then you're going to be perfectly happy and healthy. It's just an absolute disaster and uh, maybe he means well, but how can he mean well if he admits that he doesn't even listen to his own senses? How can he make videos and promote this message of completely ignoring your own senses? Can you really call him uh, well-meaning? Uh, not really. He could only be well-meaning if he listened to his own body, did these experiments, that's all right, and then came to a conclusion as to what's healthy. But when you completely ignore your own body and then make videos telling people that 
you are this um, team. You guys are working together, all of us, your viewers and you, and we are exploring how to become healthy and how to live long. Then it just doesn't make any sense because the only way to do that is to listen to your body and uh, to get the most natural food on earth. Everything that he consumes and promotes is absolutely unnatural and all unnatural food is unhealthy. It's just that simple. Thanks for watching.